gap that Secretary Blinken apparently refers to is big enough to have created a graveyard for 7,000 Palestinian children so far. The carefully chosen words, I don't think, are going to impress whether it's Palestinians, whether it's the rest of the world that is watching in real time rank American and Western hypocrisy. Most importantly, and, and to answer your question, Lucy, I don't think it's going to impress the Israelis, no, because words and policy have to be aligned. And if the American policy, which is what the Israelis are experiencing, is to appropriate funding for Israel's war, provide weapons for Israel's war, make sure that when there is a discussion at the United Nations Security Council, if there's any meaningful resolution, America vetoes it, and for the US government to continue parroting key Israeli propaganda, talking points and disinformation, as long as that's the case, then I think the Israeli leadership will feel very comfortable that they have a lot of running room left to continue with the killing, whether in southern Gaza or elsewhere, and to exacerbate this humanitarian catastrophe. Daniel, the US give billions of dollars in aid, though. That is one yeah. tool that they have. Is it time that they started to use that as a way of trying to change things? No, I think the time was after 100 children, 1,000 children, 2,000 children. It's well past time that they should use that. They have been conspicuously unwilling to deploy that leverage. And I do not think things will really change until whatever effort they are making in private is matched by what Israel will actually have to pay attention to, which is a willingness to change the policy. Things are only going to get worse otherwise. You're also, by the way, not going to get the hostages out, which is another dimension of this. So if we want to have a permanent cessation, then the pressure inside Israel, by the families, for instance, the pressure the rest of the world is saying will have to be matched by an American position which no longer indulges the mass killing of civilians. And I think it's a disaster for America as well, though.